Hey, friends. Hi. Hi, Gus. Hi, Miss Shelley. How are you? I'm good. Hey, guess what? What? It's a great day to read a book. It's always a great day to read a book. It sure is. And today <laughs> I brought one that's new to me, so I'm sure it's new to you. It's yeah. called Stick and Stone by Beth Ferry and Tom Leitenheld. Stick and Stone. Stick and Stone. That seems interesting. Yeah, have you ever heard of sticks or stones? Yeah, but not together. Hmm. Except, that makes me think of this saying. It goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Hmm. Oh, gosh, I know that one too. Yeah. I remember kids seeing that when I was little, and even my students would say that. That's yeah. Not true, is it though? Words can hurt us. Words can absolutely hurt, but it's something to say just to make the other kids leave you alone. Yeah, boy, kids should just be nice, shouldn't they? We should all be nice to one another. <laughs> it seems seems kind of hard sometimes, but really, it is. It it's is not that hard. Look, even my hat says "Be kind." Be kind. Just, I like that hat. Thanks, Gus. You're welcome. It's just pretty easy to be nice to people. Let's find out what happens in Stick and Stone. Maybe you think they're mean to each other. Maybe. They're mean to other people? Hopefully they're nice. Hopefully they're nice. We like nice friends. Yeah. Let's oh, here go. Here we go. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. let you read the first two pages. Okay. Stick. Stone. So a stick seems kind of like a tree branch, doesn't it? Yeah. And a stone, isn't that like a rock? Like a rock. Good job. Yeah. Lonely. Alone. Well, guess what do you think those words mean? It means that they're by themselves, I think. Yeah, look, you can see right there in the pictures, they are by themselves. And so lonely and alone, they mean almost the same thing. Yeah. I don't like to be lonely. No. All right, Not your all turn. The time. Okay, my turn. A zero, a one. Well, what do you think they said a zero and a one? Maybe because, um, hmm, stone is like... A round zero? Yeah. And stick is like the number one. Just oh, straight yeah, up and down, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Alone is no fun. Hey, guess what is stone on? Do you know that? Is that a teeter-totter? It is a teeter-totter. Have you ever been on one? No. Well, you got to be real careful because see how stone is over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if somebody was on like stick and he hopped off, then stone would boop. The gravity would just pull him right down. It looks like he'd just be stuck there without somebody on the other side. Yeah, it does. He's stuck right now. Uh -huh. All right, your turn. Okay. Stick. Stone. Along comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. Oh. No, that's not right. No. Pine cone, come on. Pine cone. Let's be Mind nice. the hat, pine cone. Be kind, pine cone. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh, why do you think he was making fun of him? Look what happened to Stone. Oh, he fell off the swing. <laughs> I, I mean, I like to jump out of the swings, but I don't want to fall out. You don't want to roll out, no. <laughs> and that's maybe the problem. Stone is round, so he doesn't He's roll right out. He can't help it, Mr. Pinecone. That's right. Won't leave him alone. Oh, look at Pinecone. Oh, he looks mean. He is not being nice at all. And look, vanish, says Stick. Ooh, <gasps> Ooh he gave them some words. Yeah, Stick stood up for a uh, stone, yeah. He did, didn't he? Uh -huh. He said vanish. Do you know what that means? Mm, no. It's like disappear. Oh, like go away? Yeah, go away. Oh, yeah. He did stand up for him. He did. That's, He's a good friend. He is a good friend. And I like to tell my students, use your words. Like, if you don't like something or if somebody hurts your feelings, then we use our words and we tell them. Yeah. Your turn. His word does the trick. See there? Look. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. See you, pine cone, Mr. Meanie. Later. Later, gator. <laughs> Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it, too. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Looks like they're together and they're friends. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Made a friend because he stuck up for him. Mm -hmm. Now, he wasn't real mean to Pinecone, was he? didn't shout any ugly, mean words. No, no name calling. Just, just said, like, 
Made sure he knew that wasn't cool. Yeah, like if you don't have anything nice to say, then just don't say anything. Just leave. Yeah, exactly. Your turn. Okay. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. Oh, what are they doing together? Are they blowing bubbles? They are blowing bubbles. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? It is. I like blowing bubbles. Me too. Mm -hmm. They wander, explore. Wow, they're having fun. What do you think it means to wander? Oh, just kind of walk around. Yeah. What yeah. about explore? Look for stuff. Look for stuff. Oh, I like to look for stuff. Look, they've gone like through the grass and across mm -hmm. a little river or a creek. Mm -hmm. What's this thing? We know bears live in some of these. Is that a cave? It's a cave. You yeah. know what else lives in cat caves? Mm, bats. Bats. Ooh. No, thank you. <laughs> now, what are they doing? Lays by the shore. Okay, what's a shore? Do you know? Uh, where the beach and water meet. Yeah, very good. And then it says they lays. What are they doing? Looks like they're having a nap. Yeah, they're just kind of chilling out, aren't they? And yeah. Looks like they built something. Have you ever built one of these? Um, is that a sandcastle? It's a sandcastle. I've never had the pleasure. Oh, it's pretty <laughs> fun unless the ocean waves knock it down. Ooh. Look what's out here in the ocean, though. Do you see that, friends? Are those sharks? <gasps> no, they're not sharks. They're no. even better. Dolphins? Dolphins. Yeah. The dolphins like to hop up out of the water, and they're friendly. Yeah, they look nice. <gasps> Then thunder and rain. Thunder. Make that sound, the thunder. Boom! A loud hurricane. Whoa! Ooh. Hurricane must be a lot of rain, a big storm, right? I bet that was scary. No, look, I got this book at the library. Look what's happening to it. Ooh, it needs a Band-Aid. It does need a Band-Aid, or at least the book hospital, like... Friends, we got to take really good care of our books. Yeah. You know what? Sometimes we love them and read them so much, they start to tear a little. That means it must be a good book. It must be a good book. Okay, your turn. Stick is wind blown. There goes Pinecone. Hold on, calls out Stone. Goodness, they are blowing everywhere. Wow. And Pinecone doesn't look like he weighs that much. Doesn't, doesn't. No. Well, that wind must be really strong. Mm-hmm. Again, he's alone. Oh, Aww. poor Stone. How poor do he feels? He looks sad, sad, sad. That is not a good way to feel. No good. What could you do if you felt sad like that? What do you think he's going to do? Hmm. Maybe look for his friend. Yeah. Yeah. Search day and search night. Here you can be Stone calling for his friend. Stay. search night. No stick in sight. Look, he's even got a little light on his helmet. <laughs> he's got a light. Looking for his friend. He really misses him. He does. Well, you know, Stone's a good friend, too. He's looking for him. Oh, yeah. That's what we do. What's this? A huge puddle? <gasps> stick stuck in the muddle. Look, he says, Meow. he's upside down. Wow. Hurricane blew him all the way over there. What a storm. Wow. Okay, your turn. Stone rescues him quick. Cowabunga! Kersplosh! He got to rolling down that hill. Yeah, that looked fun. Right over there, kersploosh! Yeah. Right under the water. Yeah, he saved him and he had fun. <laughs> <laughs> but look at Stick. It shot him right out when he went all the way in the water. <laughs> Those crazy guys. That looks pretty fun, doesn't it? It does. You rock stone, says Stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks, too. Stick stone together again. Oh, yeah. They look pretty excited, don't they? Yeah, they had quite the adventure. They did have an adventure. Uh -huh. Boy, hope they don't have anything else like that happen. Your turn. Stick stone a perfect 10. Now, what's that mean, a perfect 10? Is that like good or bad? It's good, and is it meaning that the stick is a one and the stone is a zero, so one, zero makes 10? Yeah, it looks like a 10, doesn't it? And then it when does. they say a perfect 10, that would be like the best score you could get is a Oh, 10. okay, that makes sense. To the end. Oh, look, I see something. 
Uh, okay, Pinecone says, sorry, I needled you so much. Aw. What do you think it means when he says needled? Messed with him. Yeah, I messed with him. And so he ended up apologizing in the end, didn't he? he well, knew that's it good. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the right thing to do. And they yeah. were pretty nice to him, so... That's what I call a happy ending. That is what I call a happy ending. You know, Stick and Stone, they actually are in two other books. I couldn't find the other one, but I did get this one at my library, Stick and Stone, Best Friends Forever. Oh, wow. So, friends, if you love Stick and Stone, you might consider purchasing it and Stick and Stone, Best Friends Forever as well. Yeah. We really enjoyed those. Well, guys, thanks for sharing with me today. Oh, always. Anytime you want to read, you just come get me. <laughs> oh, you know I will, Gus. That's oh, pretty yeah. often. Our friends really love it when you join us. <laughs> Gus, thanks for giving us some good cues about how to be a good friend and how You're to welcome. stick up for yourself. You can't let people bully you or be mean, right? Yeah, you have to stick up for yourself. Get it? Stick? Oh, get it. <laughs> That's so good, Gus. Yeah, thank you. All right, friends. Well, thanks, Gus. You're thanks, welcome. friends, for joining us. And we will see you guys real soon for another story time. Bye. Bye.